Hello, hello guys. Welcome to the Work Your Own Graduates. My name is Tabo. If you're new to this channel, in this channel, we'll talk about ways to make money full-time and part-time. So in today's video, I'll be talking about Forex trading, how and when to exit a trade. Okay, so I know many of you have asked that um, in terms of how to exit a trade and with all the signals that I give that are obviously winning and stuff like that, people always ask, Tabo, how do you know the market is going to change? Um, like I was maybe in the signal and then I forgot to maybe take some profits um, or like it was going back and then like I forgot to get out as quick as possible. So in this video, I will actually be showing you exactly my steps of how I do it so you can maximize your profits and you don't lose a lot. So remember, the most important thing is to not lose a lot and win a lot. That's for how you're going to be a professional trader. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do it in this video. So if you haven't subscribed to this video, don't forget to subscribe. And also, if you do enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button as always. Okay, so after the intro, I'll show you everything. Let's go. Welcome back guys. So guys, before I get on with this video, I just want to put in some guidelines just to make sure that you, you're going to be able to know all the facts before we get started and I'll go in the charts. Okay, so um, before we go to the technicality. So the most important thing guys you need to understand is in, in trading is to cut your losses early and then let your wins run. You might have heard that saying. Or if you knew, you might have not heard it. But yeah, it's quite common. Professional traders know this, that you make sure you cut early as possible if you're losing. And then you make sure the ones that are winning stay there for longer. Okay, so if you are in my groups where I send signals, you are aware of this. Where I tell you, um, buy and then I maybe forget. And then I say, take profit. Because that's how I do it. Like I make, I maximize on those. I know when the market is uh, likely to hit and then start going backwards. Okay. And usually I obviously do show if you must sit in the groups that when I tell you exit. Okay. So that's, that's what you should know. That's why this video is very important and it's going to help you to be a uh, more of a professional trader and win more. Okay. So now that we know uh, the guidelines of this, I'm going to go into the charts and show you how to actually um, make this process work for you. Okay, so let's go to the charts. Okay, guys, so welcome back. So this is my chart. Okay, don't worry. I have uh, trades running, all the most positive. Um, yeah, so let's just focus on um, using, looking at just this one, GBPUSD. So, so I'll show you how to actually do this. Okay, so we open the chart, um, GBPUSD. Okay, so now, the main thing you need to uh, know, I'm going to just basically use um, support and resistance, but this can apply to any method that you're using, as long as you're going to follow what I'm showing you here. So let's look at, for example, support. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to look at what, ha for example, what is happening. Okay. All right. So. So you have this, um, so let me put this here. So you have this as an, an uptrend. So if you know this, you know that it's going up, okay? Um, there's higher highs, higher lows. So just to make it more clear, then we put support here and resistance. You can also use trend lines, but I'm just making it simple. So even if you're a beginner, you can be able to do this, okay? So as I said, oh, Mainly depends on your strategy. Okay, so the main thing that you need to look out for is when your train actually moves more than 50% of basically of what it should be going. Okay, so let me explain to you how. So here, for example, looking at an uptrend, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher high, higher lows, higher high, higher lows. Okay, so here it was, we expecting it to still continue up. Okay, so what will what will show us that it's, it's um, um, not going is if it goes to our stop loss as like more. Okay, so like it goes aggressively to a stop loss. So 
for example, let's say we entered here, this was the entry, let's put some entries here. Okay, so for example, um, if you're doing the support and resistance, so you know it's sat here, resistance sat. Okay, so and when you went aggressively up and stuff like that. So you know that determining factor is that obviously you're gonna have, for example, let's say you have your stop loss here, let's look at this here. So for example, here you entered and then this was your stop loss somewhere here, for example. So let me make it a different color. Okay, this was your stop loss, and then here it came again, so it bounced it here. So it's bounced. So basically here I'm just looking at support and resistance. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm also gonna look in another way. So I just wanna give you an idea how you can see if it's how when to exit. So you know we enter. Okay, it goes up. For example, you enter maybe here, it goes up. So again another. Um, so if you don't know any of this support and resistance, you can go check my video on support and resistance. Um, so you know what I'm talking about, so I'll put it somewhere here. Okay, on the screen. Alright, so for example, you know it came and sat on the support here and then it came and sat on the support. So this was your um, stop loss. Okay, and then again, you're expecting it to come obviously here. Here's your other support. So here's your support. Okay, so your stop loss would be here again. Okay, so obviously same as this. Um, okay, so normally, yeah, you take it right to the bottom of here. Okay, same as here, take it to the, right to the bottom of the last one. Okay, so you would have entered here, for example. So remember, you're entering at support. Here, you entered at support, you entered at support. Here again, you're entering at support. So here, it went up. So the moment the, the trade goes negative, uh, so for example, if it goes here with uh, two or three red candlesticks, even if it hasn't hit your stop loss maybe here. So for example, if it went red, red and red, so here, you can get out here as quick as possible. Remember, you don't have lost a lot. The reason for that is because that's when it's going back. Normally that's what um, it's indicating that it's changing direction, okay? So for example, you saw here, it, went, it was going normal, normal, there was no red, there was no red here. And then here again, there was no red, okay? We were waiting and it went up again. Okay, so you can simply do that. Let's look at uh, what it did before, so you can have another idea. Okay, let's say it, I'm gonna check where it actually went opposite of what it was doing. Okay, here this is a good example. Okay, suppose remember now we're looking at this part downtrend. It's going down, so. So you already have your support, so it sits here. And then you buy, I'm sorry, you sell on when it breaks your support. So your stop loss is there. Again, there's another support. Again, if it breaks the support, your stop loss is there again. Okay, you do the same thing for this. And then you do the same thing for this. Yeah. So you have obviously made money here, made money here. And then here, if you look at this one, you see? So it sat on your support, so it broke the support. So you still have your stop loss here. Okay, so as you can see, look at what happened with this. So it went down here, excuse the noise guys, I'm in a very, since I'm traveling, it's a bit of a headache to try and make everything silent, but yeah. So it, it was supposed to obviously win support, even if you sold here, it's a good sell but you still have your stop loss here. So this is what I was talking about. You see, so if you zoom in, you'll see, it, the moment it goes red, because now it's, it's meaning it's shooting up the opposite direction. If you have three candles going up, for um, it means it's changing direction for that downtrend. So, but for an uptrend, if you have 
red, two or three red candles immediately popping up after you sell on that support. That's mean, that's usually an indication, not always, that's usually an indication that you can exit before your stop loss. Okay, so let's, let's look at here. So if you can see here, this was going good. So on support, you sold, it didn't go up. So here you sold because it went down already. And then look at what happened. So if you zoom in. Sorry. Okay, look at what happened. So it went and then look at, we're gonna count. So it went straight. This is, this counts as a red, a, a green, sorry, green one, big, big green. So you might have left that. But here, these are all green now. Green and more green, okay. So for example, let's say you put your stop loss here. Actually made a mistake. So normally you would have put a stop loss there. Sorry guys, uh, just like this one. Uh, because remember you're putting your stop at your, at your previous um, resistance. So I would have sold here and then You'd have ignored this if you're still selling, okay? Although it's a bullish um, engulfing, but still you're selling. So this is your first red, okay? This is a second red, I mean green. So you leave it like that. It might still go down, but look at what happens here. Okay, so it plays around. Yeah, this is a, it's, it's an indication that it's changing. Okay, look at the reds. Uh, the, uh, the greens one two three okay even if you didn't spot it on this you'd have spotted on this one one two three four for me that's a huge indication that you must change direction even if it hasn't hit your stop loss especially once you you start having this one you mean means you're changing like here we didn't have any of these so it was here we had the one two so you just left it like that. So remember, once you you start counting, once it leaves the support, okay? So for example, this is your first green. So you're waiting for a second and a third above this, the support to exit. So I wouldn't have exited here. So same as here, it went straight down. So here, same thing. So this was the first, second, Second, you don't do anything, okay? Once you see the third one, then you can exit. Okay, you can still do the second, but normally third is good. So third after your support. So here's the support, one, two, and then the third one. Same here, this was one, so you don't, it's not changing direction. So here, one, two, okay, didn't do anything, you wait. One, two, three, you exit. Or oh, one, two, three, if you didn't catch it. Four, this is more than enough, it's changing direction. Okay, it's simple as that, guys. So that's how you can exit, how and when to exit when, it, when you see that it's going the opposite direction. So you, so that's a downtrend. Okay, let me try to find another, la, another last example for you guys. Okay, so let's look at this one, uh, sorry. Let's look at this one, for example, I'll just use this quickly. So can you see lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. So you see this was obviously, it sits here, your stop losses, where it comes from. Again, sit your stop loss, where it comes from. Uh, sorry for that. Okay, so here's another one. Stop. So you see all of these. So all of these. So it broke. This was uh, one, two. So it didn't really go up. So it's still a sell. So this again. Remember, you look at your greens from the support. So let's zoom in so you see properly. So again, you see first, second. So you leave it like that. Okay, and then you go to the support. This one just went straight through, so it obviously made money. 
then here again, obviously, you can uh, uh, sell here. So you sell here. So you can see this one went up again. So let's say you sold here. So you sell. And then here's the first green. And then there's a red. But you can see green. Sorry, after this red, there's a green. So this one from the break, two, three, exit. Okay, it might have already hit your stop loss, but at least you would have seen that it's changing direction. Okay, all right. Or it's likely to change, okay? So now it's changing direction. So that's basically how we can see if it's starting to change that direction, okay? Okay, or if it wants to take you out. So I'll just write for you on the pad. So as a summary, okay, so, okay, so as we look at the screens here, okay, so as you can see on it, if the, the trend is actually going down, so downtrend, we look for aggressive opposing green candles from the support. So let's say you are selling and it was already going down, okay, from that support, like started going down once you see these three one two three and it hasn't hit your stop loss somewhere there it's a sign for you to exit so that's how we exit for a downtrend so same for an uptrend so if it was going and you're waiting for it to come and bounce and go up so once you see these green i mean so the uh, the red for downtrend look for aggressive red um, candlesticks okay so this is the first one on the break uh, on the actual support and then se second third and then you exit okay it has to be aggressive guys otherwise you're just gonna exit no matter how so this is basically the method and that i was showing you and this is very simple guys so if you can master this and be able to do this then you can be able to obviously exit um um while it's still good okay all right so also remember your plan always stick to your plan at all times so this is just to show you when to kind of like not i wouldn't say um not follow a plan but it's just to show you that the trend or the market is actually changing direction generally not always does this but that's how he exits normally okay so I hope this was quite helpful, guys. This is actually the uh, best way to exit a trade. Okay, so if you if you haven't checked, I've done also another one, how to enter a trade. So you can check it yourself and see there. Okay, so I, I talked about how to enter a trade. So this one is how to exit a trade. Okay, okay, guys. I hope you did enjoy the video and I hope it was insightful on how to and when to exit a trade okay this is actually fire it's going to help you tremendously when it comes to your trading so just make sure guys you stick uh, to it and yeah and you may you're gonna be able to make more money all right other than that you can check my other video videos if you don't know how to do, do support and resistance and also if you, how to enter a trade i've done also um a video like that so you can use this to get use these together to accelerate your trading Okay, so if you have any questions, guys, don't forget to leave them on the section down below. So that's how I'll be able to engage with you and help you um, when it comes to trading. Okay, so you can be a professional trader, just like some of us are. Okay, so guys, and also if you are interested in join, joining my channel, my free chat signal group, which will be shortly, I'll be uh, probably ending it. Um, I don't know, but yeah. Um, giving free signals and yeah so if you're interested in that uh, to grow accounts it's available I'll put in the link uh, down below and that guys i hope you did enjoy the video if you haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe and also if you haven't um, pressed the bell notification don't forget to press it so it become the first person to get notified of my video when i release it each and every time when i release a new one other than that guys see you in my next video cheers